If there is a bird widely associated with arid landscapes, it's the vulture. These scavenging birds of prey play an important role in the ecosystem. Yet in Africa, as in many other parts of the world, they face extinction. Indeed, NT, especially here in South Africa, they're all too often poisoned so that their body parts can be used for traditional medicine, or they're killed by poachers. The Endangered Wildlife Trust is fighting to protect these much maligned creatures. When she needs to buy ingredients for her remedies, Fili Motlasidi doesn't go to a pharmacy. She goes to a muti, or traditional medicine market, in Johannesburg. Here she can find everything a Sangoma, a traditional South African healer, needs. It's a thriving business, but sadly also costs the lives of many endangered animals. Vultures are one prominent example. A bird like this costs the equivalent of 200 euros at the market. They use mostly the eyes, the eyes and the head, for clairvoyances. That's what they say, because it can see from a distance. The consequences for the vulture population are disastrous. In the past 30 years, their numbers in Africa have dropped by up to 80 percent. Andre Bota manages the Endangered Wildlife Trust's Birds of Prey program, which is trying to save Africa's vultures. Vultures are the continent's waste disposal service. As scavengers, they feed on carrion, which hinders the spread of disease. Bota says that these days their greatest enemy is poison. It's easily available and inexpensive. So what you see there is how quick and easy it is to lure birds in to come and feed. And that's unfortunately what a poacher does in exactly the same way. The only difference is that they put down poison baits. They kill the birds and they then go and sell them for money. Africa's large savannas are closed ecosystems. Each animal species has a specific place in it. But time and again, the rise in poaching incidents throws the system out of equilibrium. Every 15 minutes, an elephant is killed by poachers in Africa by means of firearms or poison. Game wardens found this dead elephant in a remote stream. Andre Bota suspects it died a natural death since its tusks haven't been removed. The birds will come down in, in large numbers, up to 400 vultures uh, will come and feed on it over a number of days. Unfortunately, in certain parts of southern Africa, poachers have taken to poisoning carcasses like this. Um, and what they do is eradicate the vultures from a particular area to host or to mask their activity so that uh, rangers can't pick up on, on what they're doing. Learning about the behavior of vultures is no less important. They're currently being studied by a group of researchers. But first, they have to catch one. And that takes plenty of patience. Maybe the distance isn't too far between. Okay. And an ability to sprint at the right moment. We capture these birds and then we fit these wing tags to them, we ring them and we also in some cases harness them to follow their movements, to track where they go to, where they go and find food within their range across southern Africa and that enables us to, to sort of get an idea of the areas where they potentially could be exposed to threats. Andre Bota's aim is to eliminate those threats as well as he can, so that there will still be a place for vultures in the skies over Africa.